Hello folks, welcome back to the Rathcoe Gaming Channel. I am your host, Robert Robbie Rath, and we are back with our 20th episode of our fourth season of Mist Survival Let's Play. Okay, so this episode is mainly going to be scavenging because we are in desperate need of a lot of metal scraps and a lot of components. Uh, partially the reason for this need is because we need a lot of them in order to melt down to make low quality metal ingots which we are going to need a lot of to build our repair bench and our, our other benches our other types of workbenches. <coughs> we're also going to get water while we're out fill our one bucket I know it ain't much but it'll do us good for now all right so just make sure that you bring the sledgehammer as I said because we're going to be destroying some cars. Now, we don't want to destroy any of the cars in the community because of the loot refresh, because I'm pretty sure that the loot in the vehicles refreshes, hopefully. I thought there was a vehicle there. So, I will show you where we're going to start. As we leave the community, you're going to take that left. We're going to head to this first gas station right over here. Hop out. Sledgehammer is a lot better for destroying vehicles than the axe, obviously. Before we destroy it, alright, no gasoline in there, good. There's really nothing we can get out of it. <coughs> Using the sledgehammer, you can use it the same way as all the other things I showed you. Hold down the left button and click the right one. And there we have it. I just looked up real fast. I don't want to crush any of this shit that we're getting from the vehicle. Extra car battery and a lot of metal scraps. <coughs> See in my original save game, if you guys have watched me play on that one, I destroyed every single car I could find. And now I kind of regret it because they're a good source. They're a good renewable source of fuel and whatever goodies are inside. Usually. And that one beef can I brought from our base. Because I'm unsure as to how long we're going to be out here. See that one? This one has fuel in it. But I foolishly did not bring our gas can. It's a small amount. See these vehicles I'm not too concerned about. Um, the vehicles in the community close to my base. Those vehicles I'm going to leave alone. Because hopefully I can get gas from those. Look up so I don't destroy anything that can't help went down on the ground. You know, I never really found a, a purpose for the cigarettes. I know I've said this, I've probably said this a million times in my other videos. I just see no point in the cigarettes in this game. Maybe just to pass time, I guess. So we're just going to continuously destroy vehicles and stockpile. Oh wow, flying tire, look at that. <laughs> you should get at least one vehicle related part from each vehicle you destroy I just don't like leaving anything on the ground where the hell did that tire go okay um I guess we don't get the tire <laughs> I guess it disappeared whatever by the way I hope that you guys are enjoying this let's play series Oh, excellent. Here's our SUV. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the battery in this one right now. We're definitely going to end up needing an SUV. Because that is the only vehicle capable of mounting the machine gun onto. But we'll get to that later. Okay, we don't have anywhere near enough. So let's venture further down the road a little bit. I know there are some vehicles down here. We already searched all these buildings. <clears throat> but you know what? I am going to stop and pick up these stones. Even though I, I don't really think that we need any more for anything we're currently building. Like, as I said before, we're going to need them to, build, to make mortar and pestles after our first trip to the mine. Well, it sounds ridiculous. I, I might be uh, pronouncing that wrong. I'm not sure. 
Oh, okay. There is metal scraps and shit. I thought that I cleared this building already, but apparently not. Excuse me one moment, folks. Sorry, just had to reply to a text message. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. A little bit of paper. Oh, there we go. Some arrowheads that we can't even use because the developer hasn't... Uh, Maybe the developer's not aware of it, but I, I don't think he's incorporated the uh, specialized arrowheads into the game yet. Oh, wow. There we go. Nice find, huh? Alrighty. I think we cleaned this place out. Oh, look at that. Single shot shotgun. I don't even think that we had the... Uh, I don't think that we have the single shot shotgun yet. Oh, well, we do now. All right, excellent. Found some pretty nice shit here. All right, I just want to keep only certain things in here. Things I'd like to keep the components and the metal scraps in this box. Or locker or whatever. This one, I'm going to pop everything else in for... I'm trying to be quick, you know. All right, so just so you guys know where we're at. Uh, if you look right below the hunting area uh, sign, you'll see we're right by those four houses again. Um, and you can see the gas station f behind us a little bit on the road, the, the cluster of buildings. That was the gas station we were just at. So there you have it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head back to base now. We got a good amount of um, metal scrap and components. I mean, not so many components, but we have a decent amount of metal scraps. Let's see what we can find back this way. So we found a single shot shotgun, so that's good. Oh, look at that. Missed the vehicle. Empty. Oh, and we missed metal scraps. Hop in, make sure the glove box is empty. All right. No gas anyway. There we are. Another battery. Can I have a spark plug or something different? Apparently not. <laughs> All right, five more scrap metal, two components. Not, not horrible, but could have been better. Oh, there we go. We have more over here. Okay. There we go. Now we're cooking. Got a decent amount now. Alrighty, so let's head back to base. If you guys have trouble finding this road that leads to the community, I would just build like um set up something to build there and just don't build it you have that little green silhouette there and that'll give you kind of a marker to make it back to base check out this car real quick empty of course yeah, got an extra tire all right let's head back to base now that way folks oh boy Looks like we gotta take the long way around. Take the long way home. Any you Super Tramp fans out there? I appreciate that one. <laughs> All right, we are back at base. Make sure I shut it off. Yep, it's off. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more awesome videos. And until then, folks, I will see you all on the flip side. The only thing you're gonna miss off camera is me putting all of our stuff away. So. Again, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. See you on the flip side. I'm out.